G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, the other day I was using my cheap Chinese lathe, which I've had for like 10 years at least. It's the original chuck, and it's always been pretty accurate, pretty good for a, for a scroll chuck, it hasn't been bad at all. Anyway, I was doing some work, and then I swapped it over onto the Shoreblin, and I was finishing off of there, and I got some run out, and I thought, oh, you know, this is a bit odd. And uh, I checked the Shoreby run out, and that was 0 0.02 millimeter so that wasn't too bad um, for an old girl like that and uh, so I came back to this and I had a look at the uh, three jaw and when I put something in it and I turned it I could see I could see light on this this front segment of the ground jaws on each of the jaws I could see light between the the, the item and the and the uh, that front segment of the jaw, the rest of it was okay. So I thought, oh, the jaws are stretched from the front here. I've got a habit of gripping stuff right on that first little segment, you know, just to pinch it uh, enough to, line, you know, make it easy to align with the, uh, with the dead centre. Anyway, a couple of long story short, I checked all, of, all, all of the jaws. These back ones were okay. The front ones on each of these were, you could see the light through it. So I tried to measure it with shim. A one thou shim wouldn't go through, so it was less than a thou. But anyway, it was still not acceptable. And I've never ground these jaws. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll grind them. I've got my old tool post grinder out, and I'll, I'll shoot the old uh, small stone up it, and that'll be that. Of course, for the scroll chuck, you're always going to have some run out because there's you know, having a scroll, we're never going to get them dead right in various positions. So anyway, I, I originally thought I'll do that trick I showed in an earlier video where you machine the end of the of the jaws and then you put a, a round bit of tube there to, and then you pull down on that and that way you preload the jaws. So I tried to machine these jaws and boy are they hard like it was, in, it was impossible. You can see where I've, I've marked them but I just couldn't make any headway at all. I didn't want to damage my cowboy cutters. I just could not get any headway. This is so hard, this stuff. I mean, I've done a, I did a Pratt burn her chuck the other way and it did no problem. The jaws were obviously a lot softer than in this. And this is Chinese and it's a good chuck, but uh, too hard. So I thought, well, that's not going to work, but I'll have to do these jaws. So what am I going to do? Well, the jaws are a little bit loose. They've got their frit enough play in them that they will pull back on their own so I thought okay what I'll do I'll put the lathe on its highest speed and I'll spin the spin the chuck at full speed and the inertia will throw the jaws back against the scroll pl plate and theoretically it should throw it back hard against the scroll plate and um, I should be able to do a good job it should you know load up the jaws enough evenly to do the job so that's what I did so I spun this uh, chuck backwards at 1800 rpm I ran the TPG in through it at I don't know whatever that does 40,000 rpm or something ridiculous and uh, just ran it up and down until the sparking um, had subsided everything you know looked to be ground uniformly Anyway, I then uh, decided to take a few readings out of it. And I'll show you the readings. Considering what I started with, this was out to point zero eight or 9 when I, when I checked it. Point zero 0.07 actually was, you know, <laughs> pretty much it, which is pretty awful, really. Although you buy some chucks, I mean, and point zero 0.05 is the best you can ever get out of them. So point zero 0.07 not, uh, is not great. Anyway, so um, I'll show you a few readings and uh, you can see how well this worked. And it did work. It worked very well, actually. Let's see how it reads on this dead centre. Zero two. What zero two for that diameter? And now we'll. We'll open up the, uh, the scroll to a bigger size and see what it reads. Not 
bed. That's a 20 mil uh, end mill. So we're at the point, looks like point zero two and a half. Still quite good. And the last one, a small one. We'll see how she goes on that. That's pretty consistent, you know. Point zero two, point zero two five, see. 0.025, nearly 0 0.02, 0 0.03. So, certainly pretty damn good considering how bad it was. It's come up great. So, over that range of um, sizes, it's holding true. So, it looks like this simple way of doing it has worked extremely well. So, there you have it. That's uh, another little trick you can put in your toolkit and. Uh, Still away for a rainy day. So my old chat, she's still, uh, yeah, still got some life in her. And uh, I don't think anybody would be happy with accuracy of that level out of a scroll chuck, particularly when it's 10 years old and it's made in China. Okay, guys, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.